So John Wick has returneth. And what do I think? Well, I'm going to shock people. Two thumbs up, way up. There are a few nitpicks. I will get to that near the end. Because, yeah, certain things are like, wait, this doesn't quite make sense with John Wick 3. But, yeah, come on. It's John Wick. This is clearly meant to be what it is. It's a very weird breed of fantasy, really, meshed with action, cinema, and, of course, Hong Kong and Kung Fu and all that good stuff. And it looks great. And Keanu, as always, has nerves and instincts of steel. So it looks very credible taking on, I guess, Pennywise the Clown. Yeah, he will be the antagonist. It will be Bill. And Bill is not happy, and he very confidently says, you can't kill everyone. But, I mean, he's John Wick, so probably he will be killing, I guess, 90% of the world's assassins just to remain safe. So, it looks like a really good setup. It is holding a little bit to the continuity, because Lawrence Fishburne is helping him out, and they kind of struck a bargain in Part 3. Uh, I help you, you help me, we get our revenge, and we do the return revenge of the Wick. And so some callback to the older characters, which is great. That's very nice. Some new people, also very nice. And the cinematography looks astonishing. I did like part three a lot, but I did think them going on that desert journey midway was kind of a waste of time. It looked fine. The action was really nice, but it did feel like that went really nowhere. So it looks like they're going to be a little bit more constrained in where he's going to be trotting over the globe so that's good and it does look properly amazing so where are my doubts coming in well i think a lot of people had doubts with matrix resurrections if keanu could even do this stuff anymore because they didn't like the action scenes in matrix resurrections i like resurrections a lot i agree the action was you know hit or miss but it's not as bad as people think it is but i don't know i, I enjoyed it a lot but there should be no doubt keanu can do quote, classic Neo moves and take out three guys with a single kick. They were just doing a love story. So I don't understand people up being upset that they weren't as focused on the action. That wasn't the point. The point was to do the love story. But here the focus is the action. And he does look in his prime still. It is the problem with these kinds of films that how many clever ways can you find a way to mix the gun and the sword they do have a sequence, which was pretty clever, where they have to just flip back and forth, shooting and then trying to use the swords. But you're kind of like, mm, you have inherent limits how creative you can be and how well you can time things. So, yeah, we've kind of seen this before. They're just mixing and matching the old stuff. But it looks great. It does look very, very credible. Everyone seems to have been, everyone seems to have gone through the requisite hours and hours of just memorizing movements and so the choreography looks really spot on i guess the question will be what is left for him to do really because he just seems to have two modes all the time either he survives and retreats or he confronts and kills and repeat rinse cycle it's not much more you can do with the character so is this the final confrontation i don't mind another john wick with keanu he's very very magnetic as a personality and I do think they filled out the John Wick first well enough. Now we get to the nitpick territory, which is how in the world are they killing all these people, but everything remains so secretive. It just doesn't add up. Like, how powerful are these secret societies? It just seems really, really incredible that these killings happen, but nobody knows. Nobody cares. And I did notice Lawrence Fishburne. Again, it's possible he's all healed up from part three, but in part three, he was really messed up. They made that a big part of the plot. They really messed him up. But apparently he's had a healing factor revelation with Wolverine because he looks fine. Again, I don't mind looking at handsome Lawrence Fishburne, but I'm like, wait, why does he look good? I mean, I thought he was messed up in the third one. So, But same thing with John. John should be basically not able to walk. He sustained massive injuries in part three, but you know, he looks like he's ready to go, and you're like, wait, shouldn't you be a lot more injured? Uh, I guess enough time has passed. He's just uh, been waiting and watching, and they did set up that, yeah, he was going to get his revenge. I guess this is just long-term planning, but why hasn't he been found or discovered? I guess they just did a good job of hiding him. And the John Wick verse has always been kind of silly with the geography, because I've been to New York a lot of times. And that street does not lead to that place. That building does not lead to that place either. So you got to just hand wave a couple things where 
realities involved. But hopefully this will be a little bit more grounded. And they're setting up other movies with the John Wick first, so it's going to lead into that. We're going to have to wait and see, but a very tentative thumbs up. I have no major issue here, but still kind of wonder what is the compelling thing behind the narrative. If it is just great action scenes, I guess we'll have to settle for that. But I do think they're trying to say a little bit more. If it's just purely action cinema, then eh, pretty good. It's pretty good, pretty good showing of what they'll have for the film. But yeah, you are still asking questions of like, how exactly does this universe operate? How is it that it's just so miraculous all these secrets remain secret and nobody diverges from the secrets? So hopefully it'll pay off the promise that they have in the trailer. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, very, very exciting stuff.